15. Wait, 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 wait. Go back here. What are we watching? Her ensemble. Um, church service evening. The church service evening. Okay,
our names and a little bit about ourselves. My name is Christy Mason, and I'm from this church. And um, I'd like to point out that we have a display out front, and um, we'd like you to encourage you to take time and look at some of the brochures, take as many as you want. Um, we have a special thing right now. This is the last week for, for juniors and seniors interested in music. We have a traveling group in the summer called Solid Rock. There's applications out there to take a look at. My name is Jim Brandenburg. I'm a freshman at the Bible College this year, and I'm in the youth ministry program. Someday I hope to work overseas with youth, possibly in a Scandinavian or European country. Hi, my name is Ann Epperson, and as Christy was talking about Solid Rock, I had the privilege of traveling in it this summer, and I had the best fun. It was great, really. I encourage any of you that love to sing to go and try out for Solid Rock. It is a great program. I am going to be a nurse, but I'm just going to CBC for a couple of years to learn more about the Bible. My name is Diana Darty, and I'm from Hillsborough, Ohio, not too far from here. Oh. And it's good to be with you this evening. I'm a sophomore also this year, and I'm a piano major, but I am planning on going on to get my teaching certificate. This will enable me to work within the public school systems. I want to travel on into New York City as a missionary and work in our school systems there. My name is Jill Richmond. I'm a freshman mm -hmm. with Anna and Jim. I'm from North Liberty, Indiana, and I'm a piano major hoping to go into performance. Standing up at the back is Scott McNeely. He's a senior this year majoring in Christian education, and he just recently moved from Louisville, Kentucky, up here to Cincinnati, Ohio. My name is Drew Ryan. I'm a sophomore this year majoring in Christian education with an emphasis on youth ministries. Hopefully someday to take that degree and go to New York City and be a missionary there as a youth minister. Right now I'd like to read a little bit of scripture. It's found in Isaiah 6, chapter 6. And the first part of it says, In the year of King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord seated on a throne, high and exalted, and a train of his robe filled the temple. Above him were seraphs, each with six wings. With two they covered their faces, with two they covered their feet, with two they were flying. And they were calling to one another, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord Almighty. The whole earth is filled with his glory. At the sound of their voices, the doorsteps and thresholds shook. It says in there that they praised God so much and they praised Him with all that they had that they did that in the doorsteps and the threshold of the temple shook. Wouldn't it be neat if we could sing praises with everything that we have and make this entire building shake? I think that would be really super. Well, we're going to try our best right now and we'd like for you to praise God along with us.
we need to let them know that they can have the same kind of love that we have, that special, that different kind of love.
So, so, this old 
I saw heaven standing open, and there before me was a white horse, whose rider is called Faithful and True. With justice he judges and makes war. His eyes are like blazing fire, and on his head are many crowns. Yeah, wait a minute, hold. Right, go ahead. What do you want? What are you doing? I'm being a Christian. Well, Drew, why are you being a Christian? Because I just came from church. That's why. Sorry, but I don't think that just because you came to church that makes you a Christian. stage to the doing something stage and we get to where he meets the needs that we have.
young people have presented the challenge that we need to follow Jesus Christ more. That we need to follow him in our daily activities, that we need to first of all accept him as our Lord and as our Savior. I'm going to ask you to turn to hymn number 445. 445. We might be singing the first verse of this hymn as an invitation. An invitation from Jesus Christ to you to come, to come to know him, to become part of this church family, perhaps. The invitation is from Jesus Christ to you to follow Jesus. Will you come as we stand as we sing? <laughs> Thank you. 